In response to the terrorist acts in the Bransk region organized by the Kyiv regime on the 2nd of March this year, the armed forces of the Russian Federation carried out a massive retaliatory strike. High precision, long range, air, sea and land based weapons, including the Kinzhal hypersonic missile system, hit critical elements of Ukraine's military infrastructure, defense and industrial complex enterprises, as well as energy facilities that support them. The purpose of the strike has been achieved. All the assigned targets have been neutralized. The strike destroyed unmanned aerial vehicle strike sites, disrupted the movement of reserves and railway transport of foreign weapons, and impeded military repair and ammunition production facilities. The armed forces of the Russian Federation continue the special military operation. In the Kupiansk direction, air strikes and artillery fire of the Zapad group of forces hit enemy units in the settlements of Granikovka, Pershotravnivoye, Olshana in Kharkov region, and Stelmachovka in Lugansk People's Republic. More than 50 Ukrainian servicemen, two combat vehicles, five armored fighting vehicles, and two motor vehicles have been eliminated in this direction during the day. In the Krasny Liman direction, active actions by units of the center group of forces and artillery fire inflicted damage on the manpower and military equipment of the armed forces of Ukraine in the settlements of Nevskoye, Chervonaya Dibrova of Lugansk People's Republic and Torskoye of Donetsk People's Republic. Total enemy losses in this direction amounted to 115 Ukrainian servicemen, three armored fighting vehicles, two pickup trucks and one Gvozdika self-propelled howitzer. In the Donetsk direction, the Yug group of forces and artillery fire have destroyed over 135 Ukrainian servicemen, three armored fighting vehicles, three pickup trucks, four motor vehicles, two D-20 howitzers, one stubby howitzer and one D-1 howitzer close to Krasnoye, Semenovka and Pervomaiskoye during the day. In the South Donetsk and Zaporozhye directions, artillery of the Vostok group of forces engaged the Ukrainian armed forces units close to Ugledar and Prochistovka in Donetsk People's Republic. The total losses of the enemy in these directions during the day amounted to 65 Ukrainian servicemen, two armored fighting vehicles, two pickup trucks and one D-20 howitzer. In the Kherson direction, four armored fighting vehicles, five motor vehicles and two D-30 howitzers were destroyed in complex fire attack. Operational tactical and army aviation, missile troops and artillery of the armed forces of the Russian Federation have neutralized 78 Ukrainian artillery units at their fire on positions, enemy manpower and military equipment in one 102 areas during the day. An ammunition depot of the 110th Mechanized Brigade of the Ukrainian Armed Forces has been hit close to Vazdvizhenka in Donetsk People's Republic. One US-made AN typic U-50 counter-battery radar station was destroyed near Chasov Yar in Donetsk People's Republic. One MiG-29 aircraft of the Ukrainian Air Force has been shot down by the Russian fighter aircraft close to the village of Volnyansk in Zaporozhye region in an aerial battle. One Ukrainian made helicopter has been shot down near the settlement of Novogrod in Donetsk People's Republic. Air Defense Forces intercepted six HIMARS MLRS projectiles and also destroyed five Ukrainian unmanned terror vehicles close to Nikolskoye, Blagodatnoye in Donetsk People's Republic, Kremennaya in Lugansk People's Republic, Berestavoye in Kharkov region and Chervony Mayak in Kherson region. In total, 399 airplanes, 218 helicopters, 3,366 unmanned aerial vehicles, 410 air defense missile systems, 8,241 tanks and other armored fighting vehicles, 1,055 combat vehicles equipped with MRLS, 4,308 field artillery cannons and motors, as well as 8,816 units of special military equipment have been destroyed during the special military operation.